Right, entering a very beautiful space. This is the Corntock Hills, the coastal path, not the coastal path, the um, A39 is very close now, which means we're not far really before we get to um, West Quantock Head and the little church there and the way down to the, the coast where the sea is. Back to for a little walk round that way. I've got a lovely cool breeze on me. I've, I've been sheltered. I made the, a, a very good decision when I decided to do it this way round. Um, because on the way back I'll have the coastal breeze and I'll have the sun behind me uh, not right behind me at an angle so I'll be able to keep cool but you can hear the that's the A39 from Bridgewater to Minehead and on to Exmoor and we're going down this little I remember having to walk up this last year after doing a lot of walking already but there will still be walk um, hills that I've got to do um, when I hit the coastal area as well. There's still things I've got to do and I've got to try and remember the way as well. I haven't brought the map with me. I'm going on memory. But of course I know this well, this particular route. Um, I've been doing it for a good 10 years now. Um, you've got to remember why I might not have done it earlier is because I was working um, full time. I also had, we didn't always live down this way for quite a number of years. I never lived in Somerset. I also had four children and I did used to take them up on the Quantocks up to Holford when they were very small to paddle in the, in the streams. But we never did any big hiking as such, you know. Um, I have done a little bit with Georgia and Georgia likes the hills and the coastal walks. She's um, very fond of that. And she go and she does that. Um, that's good for her. I hope she does get enjoyment from that and help being in the countryside. It's not for everyone. Everyone's different. Some people go to a rave and feel better, or go up the pub for you know for six hours. You know, I mean, everyone's different. But if you're looking for healthy options, this is a good one. When I'm taking my time, when you get to my age, you've got to be careful of breaking your hip. I'm on vitamin D, which they've recently said I probably don't need, but then they were telling me not long ago I have to be on it all my life. They, they do vary what they tell you. Right, so this is the Coleridge Way still. There's various paths and routes up. Well, I'm going to go past that tree and up that way in a minute. I think, if I remember, it could be that way. <laughs> I hope so. I don't really can't remember. I, it is sometimes deceiving. We will follow the f feather. We will follow the feather. It's nice to be able to come out and not have to take a big coat, for example. Yeah, there's another pole over there. So there's various routes that you can come to this point from walking up on the top. Various little valleys. Let me just go over to this pole a minute. I haven't done all, every single walk. Like I, I don't think I've done that one up there. Quantock Green, yeah. The Quantock Green. We're going this way. We're following the road a bit. Um, I'm going to turn off again now. The walk continues. Skirting on the Coleridge Way towards West Quantock Head. From East Quantock Head. I think I made a very wise decision walking this way. Doing the reverse of last time. Because I've been able to have lots and lots of shade from the woods. On the Quantock Hills. Lots of oxygen. Lots of protection. I haven't really had to put my hat on much. These lovely, beautiful trees have been protecting me. And uh, it's a nice, steady walk. It's, I've cooled right down compared to going across the field. That time when I forgot the camera on the gate and I had to go back through a field of cows. Those cows have moved since. 
they stayed under the tree when um, they stayed under the tree while I was up and down the field thank goodness for that but they've moved out now there's no way I could have gone in there with them now here's the A39 all around each side there's the Quantock Hills and then there you've got rural farmland with harvesting that seems to go on all year round now big rolls of straw there's the A39 I'm doing snippets of videos just to give different sections of the walk obviously I'm not covering it all there's lots you people don't get to see here's a foxglove did you tell us pretty plant yeah I only do snippets what people got realize is they they might think that well that was a short walk it, I don't video it all I, I used to once upon a time I used to video in every section about nine years ago um, but uh, now I just do snippets because I've done this walk before um, and if people are really keen to know what it's like they can always try and find my videos on YouTube it doesn't look like many people I'm just checking checking for uh, ticks don't know what that was then I had to go under something. Yeah, they will get you. This is the sort of place they get you, see? If you touch anything, you've got to try and... It's very difficult. No one's really been out and... Um, chop this bit down. This is very wild here. And this is how you get caught. See how damp the ground is. But I won't only be doing a bit of this. I've put the new wipe stuff on to try and help me see there's a, uh, I'm helping others by doing this uh, there uh, oh there's another little blackberry flower there so just knock a few down shield because someone else might appreciate it later that's a lovely foxglove isn't it look at that beautiful isn't it wildflowers hedgerow plants we'll be out in a bigger area in a minute as you do get the odd place where it's I mean there might be a walk some people say well you should have gone up there and then down like that see that's what somebody could have said. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the Coleridge Way. And it's opening up again now, look. Every now and again, I do just check my clothing. Um, I've seen ticks on me before. It's, they advise you to wear light clothing, actually. St Audrey's Bay there. Entrance to a holiday camp down there you can actually go down there and get down to the um, what do you call it the coast I could actually if I wanted to go down that way but I've got this other little route I like doing it goes past West Quantock's Head Church and it also goes past where my daughter Georgia had a beautiful wedding in 2015 um, in the big country mansion it's got a big history it goes back a long way I never had time during the wedding to actually study the history um, but it goes back to like William the Conqueror gave out lands around here to various knights and uh, so there's a lot of history and we're near West Quantock Head now that's um, entrance to St Audrey's which you could in theory sneak down there and I bet there was a path going down there once you could see there was they probably don't want people going in and out that way though so I, I, I'm going a different way I've got um, the route I'm going to take 
where there'll be we had to see some deer in the park there it's like a deer park and uh, I've got I'm trying to follow the exact more or less exact except I'm not going off on a diversion like I did on the way over I've ended up some bloke sent me all around some wood over there by the coast it was a right right merry-go-round that was and it was hot like this in the end I had to tramp through Tickfield's climb over fences to get back on a track just by one person giving me the wrong instructions we're coming up to another pole now we will hear the road quite a lot now till we get to uh, the church because uh, this road with what we're following is going to take us to the way down to the church in a minute Here we are, the poles are there. You, you've got a smartphone, you can place it on there and get um, reference points and stuff. There's also, of course, this way up. Somebody going up there now, look. That's another way up, which I haven't done, by the way. I haven't done that route. And if, as we're coming down here now, I should turn off in a minute so I can get some pictures. If we, if we go down through that gap, See? See that? That's um, near Minehead, near Exmoor. And I've been, I, I did a lot of exploring in September last year when I camped over here. I walked a, a lot of walks. I did four days of hiking. And uh, I, 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 want, I wouldn't mind going back there because there's a couple places I hadn't got around to seeing, mainly because I was exhausted. <laughs> I was up and down hills. Now this is where you can come off on the road. It's not always advised because it's quite a dangerous road and there's no pathways, as far as I know, to take you down to the church area. So I'm going to carry on with the path there. And... Uh, As far as I know, there's no path. It's very, very fast road, by the way. Um, so it's best to keep to the track. I mean, people can park here and take their dogs for a walk, you know, to park up. And go up there. And I haven't done that, but... I haven't done a lot of things. Over and out, folks.